So I'm going to clarify a message I gave yesterday, which was intended to uh, talk about nourishment um, of our inner man. I want to make sure that if you are a grace channel, that you, don't, that you weren't discouraged by that. Because unfortunately in our culture, religious culture right now, anyone, anytime we hear someone saying, let's go on past the elementary principles and move on to perfection, we tend to hear that as a demand of discipleship and get to work and get busy and learn to love people and all that stuff. And that wasn't where I was going with that at all, actually. Nor was it that I was trying to admonish people to study the word deeper, uh, no ecclesiology, soteriology, eschatology, ecclesiology, you know, all that stuff. That wasn't it either. When I talk about the meat of the word, well, when I was talking about it in that context, I was talking about learning to dwell in the Holy of Holies and turn the word that we have already, I should have made that point, into spirit and life. That's a skill we lack. And, I mean, I did say we do need stewards that feed. Um, but not with, I'm not talking about Bible knowledge. There's, we don't graduate from the gospel. The gospel, and I've said that a million times, this is start from finish. The way we began in the Lord is how we continue in the Lord and how we finish in the Lord, by faith in the gospel. But we can be clear on the argument of justification and still be starving if we don't know how to exercise our spirit and turn the word we have into spirit and life, and if there's no stewardship bringing out the riches of Christ, not Bible knowledge. There's a difference between the riches of Christ and what he is to us for our enjoyment and what God has done for us in Christ and Bible knowledge. Bible knowledge helps. You need it as a structure if you're going to teach or something, but that's not really what I was getting at. And I don't want, you know, Greg Jackson did a video and he was right on. The reason we focus on justification and making it clear number one there's a battle about it and, and number two God's shining a light on it number three we're at the very end and there's possibly days left before we're out of here and it's absolutely critical but what I get on my channel are people that are starving and that that say you know I know all that but I still feel so deflated and I they don't have strength in many cases to preach the gospel and it's not because something's wrong with them see they fall into con you fall into condemnation and you think something's wrong with you because you feel so weak and so you think well maybe justification needs something in addition to it no justification you don't graduate from it but we have to learn to feed our inner man and be renewed in the spirit of our mind daily to put on the gospel and to put on Christ. And I should, you know, I, I didn't realize how, that I really needed to clarify this. Um, but, you know, it almost sounded like a rebuke to grace channels for being too simple or something like that. And boy, I sure, I'm sorry about that. Uh, for, you know, Andrew Rich and our Sherry, you know, and KT did and Greg Jackson and Kim Mosley and Love by the King and um, Amanda Christian and Tony Sue and Jordan and the many others that I have enjoyed knowing on my channel and have enjoyed your videos. Kim Fisher, keep doing what you're doing, please. But the reason why there are so few doing it is because the church is malnourished. And here's the thing. The reason why everybody's unsaved and not listening, part of the reason, is because we are minister, we are preaching an argument as individual rather than testifying corporately as the body of Christ. We, you know, through our life. Now, I want to make a, you know, all the institutional churches says people want to know how much you care not how much you know and and I'm not saying that I am not advocating a works mentality 
about you need to really show how good God is by your life and then they'll listen to you. That's a bunch of works crap. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that people are not nourished in their inner man. And as a result, they're so consumed and looking down and looking inward and looking at themselves and looking at their condition because they haven't been taught how to enjoy what they have in Christ. And actually, most believers have quite a bit of a base of knowledge if they're a genuine believer and they've actually worked through justification to get on the other side of the Jordan and stand with Christ. They have more truth than they know. They just don't know how yet to turn it into spirit and life. And I've been having a conversation on uh, an email about this. And, you know, it sounds at first like I'm talking about getting a lot of Bible knowledge. And that's not it. It's, please, and I, I've said this all along on my channel, preach the gospel to yourself. That's really what it comes down to, is learn how, like take a book like Colossians, and highlight everything you see that God's done for you in Christ that's a provision for you. That's gospel. Anything that's a provision for you is gospel, okay? Highlight it, write it down, and turn it into prayer and enjoy the riches of Christ in those words and focus on the fact, be mindful that the Lord is in you. He is the Spirit and you have been regenerated and you are one Spirit with the Lord and His Word is Spirit and life and He wants to commune with you and speak that Word and pray that Word and sing that Word until your whole heart, mind, and emotions and affections are gathered into that word and affected by it. You'll feel it. And the Lord may bless you with a feeling of his presence while that's going on too. Not guaranteed because he doesn't want you to get addicted to the feeling. But this is a daily practice of being renewed by eating and drinking Christ. And it's simple and I need to learn to make it sound simple and sound like not a demand because if you do this for 15 minutes, you should be able to get to a point where you can walk for 25 minutes and the entire time be thanking the Father for what he's done for you in Christ, having scripture just roll up in your being, you know. Father, I thank you that I'm a son of God. Thank you that I'm regenerated. Thank you that I'm a child of God. Thank you that I'm in your kingdom. Oh, thank you that you love me and you gave your son for me. Thank you that you've forgiven me all my sins. Thank you that my redemption is secured, that in Christ I have redemption. Oh, thank you that God put me in Christ, that he is my righteousness. He is my sanctification. He is my life. Oh, thank you that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Thank you that God is for me and who can be against me. Thank you that it is God who justified for me. You know, Thank you that he gave me his only son, and if he didn't, withhold his only son, how shall he not also freely give me all things? Thank you that nothing shall separate me from the love of God which is in Christ. Thank you that you're working all things together for my good. Thank you that you're working everything after the counsel of your own will and you're subjecting everything in my life to Christ. Thank you, Father, I'm safe in your hand. Thank you that I have such a good shepherd. Thank you that you're my food and my drink. Oh, thank you that you're my satisfaction. You're my enjoyment. With you is the fountain of life, and in your light I see light. And in your presence there's fullness of joy. You know, this is what we can do. You do that for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You will overcome all... You get your mind off your problems and off yourself and off of your condition and off of what you think you didn't do. And get yourself a bowl full of Christ and eat it. He will strengthen you into the inner man by your spirit and dwell in your heart by your faith. Your spirit is connected to your mouth. And this is how we make the word spirit and life and not just dead letters and knowledge. And that's really what I was trying to get to. But I think I do get a little frustrated at the condition. You know, God's testimony is a lampstand. That means a group of people who in, who shine with Christ. And the way is to be renewed. And the way is to be nourished. And the way is to be fed. And the way is to be strengthened. And it does make me sad how many people come to my channel who are starving. Uh, you know, I people say, you know, in 
I've heard more in your message than I've heard in so many years. And that doesn't make me happy. That's like, wow, where is everybody, you know? But I certainly didn't mean a rebuke to the Grace Channels. And we've got to keep the ABCs of salvation sounding out. But we need to be strong to do it, and there should be more of us doing it. And the reason there's not is because there's so many that are malnourished. You know, there is the need for the building up of the body of Christ to be his expression and his testimony. God intended for a group of people to express him, not just the individual. As an individual, we're very weak. But you get look if you get people enjoying Christ in fellowship, something shines out of that. That's very attractive. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see it in person. I, I'm so frustrated. I Honestly, I'm very frustrated. You know, someone said to me, man, I don't know anybody that really thinks like you do. Uh, and we're emailing each other. I'm like, yeah, I, <laughs> tell me about it. And I don't feel like I'm thinking anything that strange. I just feel like Christianity is, is totally just become an earthly fallen religion. And there's no fellowship. And... I am so thankful that I have the YouTube channel because without that, I'd have no outlet. I mean, I should, you should, my condition six months ago was pretty depleted because there's no fellowship and no place to fit in, you know? Um, and that's why we really encourage each other in the Lord, you know? And, uh, but, you know, I'm kind of rambling here. I, I, Greg did this video and I felt bad. I'm like, you know what? I didn't make it clear enough and it sounded like a work strip and it sounded like condemnation to grace channels that are standing for the truth of the gospel. <laughs> That's not what I want. We need to stand for the truth of the gospel, but we also need to, I'm not, when I say move on to perfection, perfection is not growing in Bible knowledge and growing in discipleship. Perfection is get yourself into the Holy of Holies. You're already there. And enjoy what's yours on a daily basis. And I should have made I should have made that more clear. I feel like. Um, okay. Take care.